In government, the Finance Commission met Monday evening. The Commission voted on its annual reorganization and Bob Donnelly was elected the new chair of the Finance Commission, with Ann Haley taking the vice chair seat. School committee members were present to present a budget outlook, including additional funding amounts for the hybrid school reopening model and a grant funding breakdown. Some discussion ensued involving free cash certification and the commission discussed a rough outline for the fall special town meeting, targeting for a start date in mid-November. The Finance Commission will meet again in the coming weeks. At Tuesday night's Trails Advisory Committee meeting, the group discussed their trail walk at the end of Meadow Street. Over the weekend, several members of the committee took to the woods and hiked through the land adjacent to Nord Airport. Committee member Sue Bartlett shared pictures of the trail walk. The next Trails Advisory Committee meeting will be Tuesday, October 13th. Wednesday night, the Community Preservation Committee held a public hearing for CPA project proposals. Travis Farley, superintendent of the Rec Department, began the hearing with two proposals, one being the Murphy Field basketball court resurfacing and the second being a town pool assessment. Next, John Grove of Old Parish Preservation Volunteers presented a master plan for the Old Parish Cemetery. And the final proposal of the night was Judith Howard and Tony Esco presenting a Morse House feasibility study and master plan. The CPC will meet again on October 14th. Also Wednesday night, the school committee met and began with two appearances. First appearance of the night was Eli Norris and Kelsey Masis of Food Services, giving an update on their various programs and offerings to the children across the district. They recapped the summer meals program and outlined how meals will be served to the students across the district during the hybrid model. The second appearance was Aubrey Seal of Impact Norwood. Seal spoke to the diversity in the school and referenced a survey in which students were asked a number of questions, including if they feel like they fit in and if they were comfortable in school. Later in the meeting, Dr. Thompson provided a reopening update to the committee and Ms. Sheridan discussed multiple budget items, including FY21 budget transfers and a proposal to restructure the NPS Finance Department. In new business, the committee discussed junior custodian contracts, the MOU with the teachers union and the superintendent goal setting. The school committee will meet again on October 7th. For complete government coverage, tune into the NCM Government Channel or watch it on demand at nordcommunitymedia.org.